Bismillahirrahmanirrahim class 6 today we are going to cover our chapter number 4 that is electric circuits and the topic is voltage what the voltage is electric circuits need a source of electricity through which the electricity is supplied this source of electricity provides the voltage or push needed to make a current flow in a circuit the higher the voltage the more energy each electron is given so the more energy can provide as it flows around the circuit voltage is measured in units called volts what is the unit of voltage it is volt so the higher the voltage is the brighter the object is so here you can see a 12 volt cal battery is made up of several cells joined together and uh, main electricity of 230 volt is used to charge this electric car how the voltmeter uh, how the voltage is measured as you can see that the voltmeter is connected into the circuit in the correct direction so you can see that the, uh, the reading of the voltmeter got doubled over here because it is not applied in a right direction and here it is connected in the right direction so here it is working properly Voltage is measured using voltmeter, unlike a meter. But vo un uh, unlike a meter, voltmeters are connected, must be connected into the right way round. If not, the pointer moves the wrong way and the meter could also be damaged. The voltmeter is connected across the battery, across the battery but not into the series of the current as an emitter is connected. It is connected across the batteries so that it can measure the voltage the higher the voltage the more energy is provided so the bulb is brighter voltage around round a circuit a battery or other power supply provides the total voltage of a cell for a circuit the voltage is across the com all the components in a circuit all uh, must always add up to the supply voltage the voltage is shared here you can see if you are connected if you are connecting one bulb in an uh, circuit so you ha are having three volt battery so if you are connect two bulbs so the then the voltage will be divided into two parts and the bulbs will get dimmer they will divide the volt equally there are the two types of circuits one is series circuit circuit and the second is parallel circuit in series circuit if any one object is damaged if it is battery if it is wire if it is switch if it is bulb so the flow of current will stop <coughs> and if uh, you you can see in this object in this diagram here one bulb is broken out its filament is broken so the whole circuit is stop working so here can you see adding more components if you add more cells into the um, circuit so they will generate more current and the bulb will the bulb will light brighter and if you add up more bulbs and do not add more batteries so the bulb will bright will light dimmer so here are few questions you have to give their answers and next is the parallel circuit one was series circuits and one is the parallel circuit like a road that has several paths for the car to go so if one path is broken and one uh, there is any breakage in one path any problem in one path so the cars will move uh, and they will go on the other paths so they are known as parallel roads and these circuits are known as parallel circuit if one wire is damaged or you can say fused or one bulb is fused you can see if one bulb is fused so the current can flow from the other path to bright up to light up the other bulb if this one is fused so current will flow into the first path so there are many options for lighting up the object you can see here one bulb is broken with broken filament one is fused but the current has not stopped flowing it has another part it can flow in this direction to light up the bulb <clears throat> how 
how the current flows in parallel circuit the current is not in the uh, not the same at the places in a parallel circuit this is because the current splits at the junction in the circuit different can uh, currents can flow in the parallel pathways and they join up again the diagram shows a parallel circuit notice uh, that the current flowing through the two parallel pathways is half that flowing through the rest of the circuit here the current is flowing and the current is divided into two paths and when it is become one path so it has also it is again became stronger and it is became became again four amperes parallel circuits in our homes Parallel circuits are used in our homes to supply devices with the electricity they require to work. Devices such as lamps, radios, washing machines and vacuum cleaners can be connected to the circuit at any point because they are parallelly connected. Here, the diagram shows the part of parallel circuits. Electricity enters and leaves in circuit through the wires on the left and uh, three devices A, B, C are connected in the parallel way. <clears throat> the great voltage of using parallel circuit is that they allow each device uh, to have its own switch so that it can be switched on and off without affecting the other devices. Making of a ring The parallel circuits above can be extended as necessary. More and more devices can be added to it. Here the diagram shows rearranged into a ring. Devices can be placed anywhere in the ring between two wires. In these two wires, you can attach any device. The ring main. In our homes, electricity sockets are arranged in circuits called ring mains. There are, there are probably several separate rings main in your homes. <coughs> so devices can be plugged into the sockets at any point on each ring. Any point on each ring you can apply one device over here one over here one over here so it's up to you notice that a ring main has extra wire that wire is called the earth wire and it is the security wire the earth wire is for the security and safety what the resistance is as you know that everything has its uh, has a capacity of itself if you connect a bulb to a circuit where the voltage is too high, the bulb will blow. The thin wire filament inside the bulb will become too hot, melt and break, causing the circuit to stop working. All the materials have resistance to the flow of electricity through them. Some have the highest resistance than others. Thin wire has a higher resistance than the thick wire. You can say that the thin wires can be, uh, become hotter than the thick wires. For example, the higher the resistance, the greater chance that the wire will get hot, burn and melt. You can sh show uh, this heating effect by using piece of thin wire in a circuit and uh, gradually increasing the current through it. <coughs> As the current through the wire increases, the wire is heat heated up, eventually it glows and then it melts. Resistance is measured using the unit of ohm. Resistance wires and fuses. Resistance in the wires can be put to good use in electric circuit, especially in the homes. A piece of a specially chosen wire called a fuse can be put into the circuit so that it melts before connecting wire. A fuse is a high resistance and therefore melts or blows when too much electric current flows through the circuit. Have you ever seen that we have applied in, uh, uh, fuses of 3 amperes or 5 amperes in our homes in the main, uh, main board uh, and uh, we see if the flow of electricity is high, if the electricity is flowing with the high <coughs> voltage then fuse burns first and all the other appliances keep safe. Why? Because they are connected into the circuits and they damage first and the other appliances remain safe. They, uh, with the damage of these uh, fuses, they will stop the flow of current to the other appliances. Fuses are made of different thickness of wire for different uses. They are labeled of or rated in amperes. For example, 5 ampere fuse will only allow a current of flow only 5 ampere. 
it before before it blows fuses are very important for the safe operation of devices connected to main electricity you can see here is an earth wire here is a live and fuse attached and the neutral wire so after completing the reading and completely observing you are able to give the answers of all these questions on your book and you are also able to attempt the multiple choice questions true false and uh, many other uh, important and short questions of the exercise so the chapter is uh, clear now uh, covered now